Rhode Island has got some amazing abandoned icons that we all know. The Crook Point Bridge, stuck in the up position since 1976, the Superman Building in the center of Providence, and the windswept estate remains on Scarborough Beach are a few. But today, I want to talk about an icon that hasn't been abandoned. We've all seen it off Route 95. I'm talking about the Big Blue Bug in Providence. It's a giant blue termite on the roof of a pest control company, but to us Rhode Islanders, it's much more than that. Also, this video is not an ad, but if Big Blue Bug wants to send me a pizza, then yeah, let's do it. This termite is actually quite the celebrity. You may have seen him appear in the Rhode Island documentary Dumb and Dumber when our boys Harry and Lloyd leave the state. Or Dumb and Dumber 2, which I honestly only watched so I could find this clip. He even appeared in an episode of Family Guy. Call the damn exterminator! It's a big deal whenever something Rhode Island is on TV, so show some respect to our bug, okay? You can't drive through Providence without seeing him on the side of Route 95. He's literally 10 feet away from the road. Let me say it again, iconic. New York wishes the Statue of Liberty was this bug, okay? So why is this here in the first place? In 1980, New England Pest Control moved to a new building and leadership decided to honor one of their biggest revenue streams, the termite. Constructed of steel and covered with fiberglass, the Big Blue Bug is an exact replica of an eastern subterranean termite, also known as Reticula termes flavipes. This bad boy is 58 feet long, 9 feet tall, and weighs 4,000 pounds. The bug was originally painted purple, the color of a live termite swarmer under a microscope, but the sunlight faded it to blue. At this point, it became well known as the Big Blue Bug, so they decided to keep it blue. That's cool, but does it have a name? Nibbles. Nibbles Woodaway. What else could it be? In 1990, they held a contest to give the Big Blue Bug an official name. Geraldine Perry of Tiverton, Rhode Island submitted the winning name, so shout out to Geraldine. As if he wasn't cool enough, Nibbles even dresses up in costumes for different holidays and celebrations. The biggest costume each year is Rudolph for Christmas. I guess this means it's official. The holiday season in Rhode Island underway because the Big Blue Bug is all lit up now. Yeah, Nibbles Woodaway lit up last night in Christmas lights for the first time this season. The bug is wrapped in Christmas lights and wears antlers and a blinking red nose. That's adorable and part of the reason why we all love Nibbles so much. Imagine if other businesses in Rhode Island were like this, like a 30 foot tall doughboy on the side of the road for Iggy's or a 50 foot wiener for New York system. Come on guys, please do this. But Nibbles here is a local celebrity with his likeness being used on ornaments, t-shirts, greeting cards, and stickers. My point is, the Big Blue Bug holds a special place in my heart as a Rhode Islander. Nibbles is a part of our pop culture, skyline, and community here, and I'm glad I get to see him every time I drive through Providence. He's not just any Big Blue Bug, he's our Big Blue Bug. So let's all raise an awful, awful to our boy Nibbles, the guardian of Route 95, and my favorite bug in the world. To see more interesting Rhode Island icons like this and learn about their history, you can check out the rest of my videos on my channel right now. Thank you very much for watching.